So I went off to seminary and I began to learn like how the Lutheran Church took part in, was passive about, was, was complicit in, completely complicit in, theologically and socially and in every other way in the Holocaust of our Jewish neighbors in the 1930s and 40s. How we not only didn't stand up for them, we didn't know them. We didn't hang out with them. We didn't engage in theological conversation with them. And we all know what happened with that. And so I remember going to seminary and listening to my professor talk about all of that. And in the, and in the refectory, in the cafeteria downstairs afterward, I remember us sitting around kind of being blown away at the complicity of the Lutheran Church in that horrific series of events. And I said, you know, if that sort of thing happens in my day, I hope to do something about it. Of course, I was living in Chicago. What was happening all around me in Chicago? But because I was raised in white supremacy, I could not see that exactly. At least not all of it. This is the, this is the spiritual path <laughs> that, right. that we are... Our faith calls us to relate with people other than ourselves. Peter Stuyvesant was part of the regime that purchased the island of Manhattan for 60 guilders or $1,000 on the backs of the Lenape Indians, a thousand of whom were murdered when they try to retain their fishing rights and ability to survive on that land. I love Jesus. I believe in the gospel and that it is life. And yet, Time and time again, I don't see people passing by when there are this impact in my community and my story and in other places in this world, and specifically in my country. And this has been hard for me. And what I have found is, I think, even in the story of who is my other, what I realized over the last few years is the church, something that's been a part of me for so long, has become an other at times. And so what, what kind of is authentic allyship? So you're part of an, of an in-group, right? We're part of lots of in-groups. And there's another in-group out there that our society deems has lower status, long run, right? And so what you can do is kind of move in between your in-group and the other in-group and participate in multiple groups. And by, and then, but still maintain your status at, as part of your in-group. So people told me initially, well, Terry, you know, you're just giving up on Christianity and hanging out with the Muslims all the time. You know, why are you doing this? And I would say, well, I'm doing it because of Jesus. 